Today I'm going to uh, try a little finishing experiment. Well, not today, but over a little bit of period of time here. Um, I'm getting ready to finish some plywood and some pine, some other things in a uh, in black. So, but I also want a nice finish. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make my own black water-based polyurethane. What I'm gonna use is this polyacrylic, and this is clear matte. And the reason why I'm using matte is because uh, the, this polyacrylic has particles in it that give it that matte finish. And, I'm, and what I'm hoping is that when I put the India ink in with this clear matte, the ink will uh, be absorbed by whatever those particles are, which will give me a, a better color. I'm gonna run it through this filter, make sure I don't have any uh, uh, lumps or anything else like that, or some solids. So what I want is uh, like a three to one mix, three parts of the polyacrylic to one part uh, India ink. I'm gonna fill it up to this little bit above that line with this India ink. Uh, um, I think it's called Speedball. Super black, this is probably one of the most popular ones on, on Amazon that you can get. And let me pour that in there. I'm gonna put my lid back onto this mason jar and shake it all up. I'm gonna put a little bit of this that I just mixed onto this uh, little piece of ash as a test piece. Um, now, I did do a piece of ply. This is three layers and uh, Anyways, it turned out really nice, but I want to see how it works on wood. All right, so get a little bit on the old brush and let's see what kind of coverage we get. Oh, that's good coverage right there. This two hours and uh, come back and give it another coat. So it's been over two hours now since I've uh, put on this first coat. I'm gonna get ready to put on a second coat, but uh, first I'm gonna sand this down with 220. Now, and notice how it's just because uh, I didn't sand this before I actually did this. It's just pretty much lumber right off the scrap pile there so i'm gonna go ahead and put coat number two on. all right um i'm gonna go ahead and apply my third coat but first i'm gonna go ahead and lightly sand this there we go that feels really smooth all right now let's go ahead and apply our last okay so I've let the third layer, uh, third coat that I put on here dry for 24 hours. So now um, I'm just kind of curious to see if, the, if I use a nice clean cloth, if the ink will rub off onto the cloth. As you can see, perfectly clean. That was one of my main worries, so that solves that problem. Test the adhesion of this, uh, of this Now this is t at 24 hours. All right. So there we go. Had nothing come up with that one. So I, I kind of cut this, I kind of chopped that up pretty good there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I think it's gonna be pretty durable. Um, the only other test I can think of is like scratch resistance. Like, I mean, that's pretty darn good, man. I mean, I'm, I'm really digging my screwdriver in there and that's, really, that's not even peeling up the damn paint. Huh, okay. So, from what I could tell, my polycrylic with Indian ink mixed into it, three layers on plain, uh, plain old uh, plywood here. Um, gives me pretty good results. 
good coverage. It's pretty even all the way across. Now, I'm probably gonna, I would probably stain this first before I actually put the two layers of the polyacrylic and then maybe finishing up with just a clear layer of polyacrylic. So I covered that piece of plywood. Now that test I did on that plywood was after 24 hours of drying. Now on the can, it says that uh, it should take uh, 14 days to cure. So this is well over 14 days. And this is that piece of ash you saw me earlier that I stained. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my adhesion test on this. So there you go. I'm gonna take, try it out. Make sure we get it on there really good. All right, so one, two, three. As you can see, nothing came up. This seems to be really durable. Now this here is, uh, this was with the Indian ink, the matte, um, uh, Minwax polyacrylic. I finished the bedroom furniture in black India ink with the three to one ratio with general finishes, satin high performance. And, uh, and I didn't pre-stain. I just went ahead and sprayed right on the, on the bare wood, three coats, light sanding. Actually, I used um, four rot synthetic steel wool in between coats to uh, give a good uh, scratch pattern or, or scuffing up to adhere the set next coat. And uh, it came out really nice. And I'll show that later on down the road uh, when I finish the headboard to that uh, twin bed. But uh, this seems to be really durable. It doesn't rub off. Um, yeah. And it's considerably less expensive than using a water-based lacquer that's tinted black. Uh, and the reason being is because you actually have to put down primer first before you spray it. So you have to buy at least two gallons of the stuff uh, and depends on what brand you buy. It's a, it'll run you about 150 bucks. Whereas using that one gallon of general finish with that black India ink, about 75 bucks. So, and I have plenty left. It goes a long ways. I did spraying, sprayed really nicely. And what I really like about this uh, polyacrylic, it doesn't, it dries pretty fast, but not fast enough that even if you brush it on with a paintbrush, um, that it leaves the brush marks. It levels out really nicely. So it has, a, it has a, a long enough open time to let that really flatten out and give you a really smooth finish. So. If you have any questions, drop me a comment and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thanks a lot for watching. At ease, maker.